What's going on everybody? It's Mike for Sunny Slope Homestead. Today we have an interesting product. Now I don't do product reviews very often, but this one I thought was pretty good and it came just in the nick of time uh, the offer was because, uh, well, we've got chickens in the garage and they are outgrowing that little brooder and we need to move them to something bigger. Now they're too small to be putting down with the bigger chickens. So, well, I took up uh, an offer to review a product and I really thought maybe this product would be good for you folks at home now i had uh many of these coops to uh choose from these prefab coops and i'm not a big fan of prefab coop because well first of all they're expensive and then so a lot of them are cheaply made and they just don't last long the reason why i didn't pick the biggest and baddest one as well because a lot of people aren't going to go out there and buy a thousand dollar chicken coop so i i bought i didn't buy i chose to test the medium range uh, it's an AIR32 uh, coupe by now everybody mispronounces this word or this company's name, but IV2N then? Yeah, that. All right, so we're gonna get this coupe all put together. We'll time lapse it. We'll see how hard it is to put together. I'm gonna have my son help me. I've been a lot letting him do a lot of work lately, so we're gonna let him. Uh, do most of the putting together because I absolutely hate putting stuff like this together uh, If there's folks out there like me you absolutely despise putting anything together. That's prefab from like Ikea uh, Target Walmart any of that uh, particle board stuff. It's just absolutely frustrating So I will be paying attention to the difficulty level how parts fit and uh, Basically if this is something that uh, will go together fairly easy if it doesn't, I will let you know. If it does, I'll let you know that too. I know it's not organized and it's kind of a big pile, but the good news is, is you're not assembling all this little hardware to make this panel. So I'm thinking assembly is going to be fairly easy. Let's get back to a time lapse of us assembling this coupe and we'll let you know how it turns out and what we think of the quality overall. Got all finished we had a couple of hiccups in there because uh we weren't looking at the instructions very well so we got a couple pieces upside down um you know i think the instructions would be better if they had colored actual photographs of how the pieces went together but it wasn't that difficult to figure out we it all went together fairly easy uh we didn't have any wood split but i do have some concerns and some stuff right off the bat that i don't like and they're not necessarily game changers or would make me shy away from this product because it is fairly good quality uh, for the price that you're you're paying for it. But let's go over them real quick. The one thing I do like is I do like this UV panel. You know, the one thing I don't like about it though is it's pretty thin and we'll see how this holds up towards the UV light. See if it starts to ox oxidize and get fragile, but I do like it. I just wonder how long it's gonna last because it's pretty thin. I think a good hailstorm and some UV to make this a little brittle would possibly take it out. But this panel is fairly easy to remove. So if it ever got broke, you could replace it. And they do sell this at the hardware store. One thing I noticed right off the bat here is these edges, you're gonna have your rainwater come down. And they actually put like little, little gutters here for that rainwater to get out. What you're gonna have to do if you buy this is you're gonna have to run silicone and seal up all these edges, all right? And I would probably use a paintable silicone because we're gonna get into the next issue is this is just a very light primer and you're gonna wanna silicone all these screws so water doesn't get in there and start swelling this stuff up. So you're gonna want to basically use a paintable silicone or a paintable caulking, seal up all your edges, all your screw holes, 
and you're gonna want to paint this you're gonna want to paint this with a good outdoor exterior paint this uh, primer they have it looks good and appealing but it's almost it's just like a light stain i'm not sure if it has any waterproofing benefits to it so this is your laying box here you open it up you got enough room here inside and out <laughs> for about uh, I would say three hens, comfortably three hens. Uh, four, you'd be really pushing it. I'd probably, two would be perfect, three would be pushing it, four would be, you better stay on top of this. But you'll notice there's a gap right there. And people uh, talked about this uh, water running down in here and getting in here. And they actually provided a piece of, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, strip curtain, plastic uh, flashing. So your water will run out of there and not go on the underside of your box. So good on you for fixing that. They realized what it was and they addressed it. Next thing is you guys see these locks? They're kind of they're kind of weird, they're kind of funky, but I like them because you don't have to have a padlock here. You don't have to lose a padlock. You don't have to worry about you know making sure that it's on there keeping a key anything some people just put a piece of wire whatever but this is a this is pretty snazzy it's pretty easy to use and it just goes in and out like that and so on and so forth so i thought that was a uh, a nifty little add-on here i've never seen anything like that before i'm sure they're popular i just haven't come across them but they're fairly they're fairly easy to use now the doors they've got a spring-loaded hinge lock here it's kind of neat. I'll see how that holds up in time, that little spring. You can keep it open. And it stays closed. Not bad. And it works the other way too. So it's universal. Now, unfortunately, our kit did come with a little crack. Some wood glue, a little screw. Easy fix. It wasn't a game changer. But typically with these uh, products, you'll drive screws in like this. We didn't put this one in, this was um, put in this way. And it looks like they stopped because this happened, but typically when you drive screws and dry non-quality wood, if you don't pre-drill them, you're gonna get this split. A lot of our major holes like these, they were pre-drilled on the front half, but not on the back half. Obviously you guys see we got windows and cages, we got a fancy pan. So overall, you're gonna wanna paint this you want to silicone or caulk all your edges up where water is going to get in. I would put a lifespan on this if you left it as is and you didn't do any work to this and you just rocked and rolled this thing right out of the package. I'd probably put a life expectancy on it three years. And we're in Midwest Nebraska, so we're kind of in the middle. We got humid, hot, rainy, snow. We got everything here. I would probably put a life expectancy on this three years before you started running into wood rot on the bottom and uh, cracking of your UV panel and just little overall swelling. I think it'd still be usable if you painted this, siliconed it, caulked it, whatever you wanted to do, and uh, maybe put a green treated 2x4 on the bottom to shore this up. I think you'd get a lot of life out of this. Now that we have this built, we're actually gonna pick it up because that's gonna be test number two is we're gonna pick it up, we're gonna see how rigid it is. It may not necessarily be where you build it at, it's gonna be where it needs to be. So we're gonna pick it up, we're gonna move it over here and we're gonna put our uh, baby chicks in there. Well, not baby, so our, our adolescent young chickens in there. We're actually gonna take the brooder that they're in now and we're gonna butt it up to the side here and we're gonna expand this whole area so they'll have a, a nice big area to run around in because they might be little chickens, but they're gonna need some room to run. And I'm gonna to wanna to put their waters somewhere convenient. They do sell uh, add-on kits for these. Uh, I'm not particularly sure about the AIR32 model that this one is, but I think they actually do where you basically buy another kit and you can attach it from side to side they have a run that goes this way but there'll be further more on that and if you guys are interested in this i will have a uh, a link to uh go and buy this model direct 
Now, like I said, I didn't pick the most expensive one and I didn't pick the cheap one. You got the one right in the middle that I thought was affordable and that the average person who raises chickens would be willing to spend on something like this that was fair and modest. But I'll have a link down below in the description. Uh, it is affiliated, so um, it's no additional cost to you. It just helps us out and you make a purchase and it kind of helps out what we got going on here. So I'd appreciate it if you guys were gonna choose this model that you go down and hit that link down on the bottom. Well, it survived the move, so it didn't fall apart. I wish I would have put the door on the fancy side, but I didn't. So that side's on the back. Oh well, we'll do all the cleaning up there anyways. Let's go get our brooder, put it up here. But first, we're gonna start putting chickens in there. One at a time. <laughs> 